I don't know if there's a more bizarre case of corporate butter than EA and their battle with a single player. I suppose you could look back. The last time we talked about this type of thing was uh, 2K Games, basically sending private investigators to a content creator's house to bully him uh, out of essentially YouTube. They struck down his whole channel. I don't know if he ever even came back. Should probably check into that to be totally honest with you. Look, when you're a major video game producer, you're going to have leaks. I just think it's always a bad look to uh, go after the individual creator simply for reporting them. They would never do this if it was Kotaku or Polygon or something like that. Although there is some rumors that Kotaku is on the blacklist for from one of these companies. I don't know if that's entirely true or not, but uh, I've been following this saga with... Uh, Kurt 0411 being banned by EA. And, t you know, the FIFA community is something that's pretty new to me. I have some friends that play FIFA. I don't really watch uh, footy, as you guys call it. Um, I watch American football. Uh, that isn't a comparison. Be careful. Take your finger off the dislike button. button. It's just different. I just, I never got into soccer. Perhaps if there was a local sports team, I might get into it. I support my local teams. Uh, but nonetheless... A couple of weeks ago, uh, I, EA FIFA had banned Kurt. And we can look back at the article back on February 25th. EA bans pro, FIFA Pro Kurt 0411 for bad behavior. EA has announced that it has banned FIFA 20 Pro Kurt, Kurt 0411 French, from all games and services, with the publisher doing so as a result, as a result of the player's bad behavior. The f this follows the company previously preventing him from competing in or attending FIFA 20 competitive events. And look, I understand. Kurt probably flew a little too close to the sun, uh, but I, I just I just can't help but, you know, I know that there are people that watch my channel. They're like, yeah, yeah, well, he, he did kind of poke the bear too many times. I know. I mean, I feel this a deep connection to him because I also... Uh, criticized Wizards of the Coast uh, very aggressively for many years. It became kind of a part of my shtick as Unsleeved Media. And really, once I gave them uh, a chance to ban me for life, they did it. Uh, there are players that have committed actual heinous acts uh, that aren't banned for life for Magic the Gathering, but I am because I just poked the bear one too many times. I think that's probably what happened to Kurt here. Uh, but what I thought was really bizarre was that EA went and posted this on their public Twitter account, which, you know, their corporate Twitter. And by the way, this didn't come from EA FIFA. This came from actual EA. And they put this whole message together, basically saying how Kurt was just an awful person. Uh, he then, of course, ratios them by saying, could you please give me examples of when I, I did any of this type of things? You know, and of course, calls the players incompetent. And, um, you know, I spammed my video in there because I've got no shame. But ultimately, you know, there's just really no excuse for this type of rat behavior from EA. But that's exactly what they're getting. But now they've taken it to a whole new level where after banning him, after publicly smearing him, they told him in their original banned letter, by the way, uh, that... He needed to create a new account. This is the message that Kurt received when he was banned by EA. Your account has been disabled. Your account has been permanently blocked from this product due to violation of EA's terms of service. If you wish you to continue using this product, you must register a new account. Okay. It's literally in the message. It says you've got to create a new account, which really stinks because he had spent a lot of money on... Um, their FIFA Ultimate team, but that's neither here nor there. It's pretty clear there that it says, hey, you can play our game. You just got to create a new account. The original email says, we want to notify you that we found your EA account to be in violation of the user agreement. Specifically, your account was found to be in violation of being mean to our employees. Uh, after receiving multiple reports and reviewing recent comments made, by, on, made online by you about EA employees, we have found them to be threatening. Uh, due to repeated nature of this, the security a severity of violation has led us to close your account effective immediately. Okay. 
Uh, we reserve account closure for the most serious breaches of the user agreement. EA can also apply it in cases where an account accumulates a number of violations over a period of time. Now, this message does not say you can't create another account. Uh, however, Kurt did create another account, as the original ban had said, and they banned him again. This on March 3rd. EA bans Kurt again after telling FIFA 20 Pro to make a new account. EA has banned FIFA 20 Pro Kurt from accessing its services once again after reportedly sending the player a message informing him that he needed to create a new account if he wanted to continue playing the company's games. This is not reportedly. I, I, we've seen the message. Kurt 0411 was banned last month for bad behavior with the company taking the uncharacteristic step of detailing its reasoning behind the band on social media. Kurt shared the messages he had received from EA, including the message informing him that his account had been disabled. This included the note, if you wish to continue using this product, you must register a new account. Now, you could argue, hey, this is the stock message that everybody gets. Maybe. After the ban, Kurt registered a new account, but EA has now allegedly banned this account too. Taking to Twitter, Kurt wrote, imagine banning a new account of somebody who brought in 15,000 viewers to your game after you literally told me I had to make a new one. The amount of pettiness this company has is next level. He then to write, apologies, uh, no stream this morning. Imagine that banning account. Kurt's initial ban came after a series of controversial incidents, including him appearing in a YouTube diss track, which targeted members of FIFA 20's development team. However, the wording of the message he had received from EA suggested he could make a new account and continue playing, which has now also been reportedly banned. It's likely Kurt received a formulaic message from EA after being banned, that's what I thought, from FIFA 20, which erroneously informed him that he could make a new account. Considering that Kurt was also banned from FIFA-related products, it seems that the company has wholesale banned him as an individual from the game rather than just his previous account. However, given that Kurt has now reinvested in another copy of FIFA 20, the message he received should arguably have been clearer in the first time than the first time around. He is yet to respond to Kurt's complaint. The problem with this is when EA comes out and says this type of things, these type of things, articles like this get created. This is on Kotaku. YouTuber banned from every EA game and online service after rants and threats. This is on Kotaku. Now, I know, I know, we know that they're not capable of doing any level of research, but this type of article is going to follow him around forever. It will prevent him from getting new sponsors. It will be used by those who dislike him, his haters, to cause him financial damage. The ban comes after French's long-running feud with EA, which we've covered previously, reached a baking, breaking point in which EA issued the following statement. If you can't read that on your phone, here's the key part. Now, while the ban seems incredibly harsh, there's an argument it sets a heavy-handed precedent. French's conduct has been extreme, and his monologues against FIFA have moved from simply complaining about the game to deeply unhinged tirades and threats against the developers. Here's an example in a video last year where an expedite-laden rant culminates him spitting on his EA scarf. Oh, no! Not, not spitting on your EA scarf. That is seems to be like a direct attack at EA. Uh, but you have this, you know, it's funny when people say this, this guy appears to be one of those people like, I'm all for freedom of speech, but there is no but after saying you support freedom of speech. This VOD that Kurt got banned for, I am all for freedom of speech, but then you're not. This is disgusting. How are you going to spit on the logo of a company that you want uh, to be a uh, company to be professional esports athlete for. I know I'm going to get stick for this one, but he deserves the ban. What? Wh who cares? Like, literally, who cares? Kurt comes in. Those 50 seconds are better than your whole streaming career. I mean, who cares? It's a company. Why do, why do these companies have feelings? It's absolutely ridiculous. Now I understand that... EA probably meant he was just banned for good and that him creating another account in many ways is ban evasion. Fine. 
but it certainly does stink that these two couldn't work things out like adults. There's enough blame to go around on both sides, but everybody just looks awful that they can't just resolve this amicably. If Kurt acts like I acted when I was banned, he is in for a long battle that's going to make them look bad for months. They would be better served trying to come to an agreement with this guy and moving forward, even if it means an apology on both sides. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.